Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen zu einer Serverball Let's Play Fake und Order. Ich bin es eurem Simafix und äh, wir befinden uns hier gerade im äh, der Wald hier von Wales. Äh, dort äh, herrscht der gute Oberon und wir haben beim letzten Mal seine netten Feenfreunde getroffen, die hier auf unserer Seite sind. Nun, äh, ja, liebe Leute, unser wahres Ziel ist ja natürlich immer noch Mesh zu finden. Oberon geht hier gerade auf Informationssuche und. Hä? Äh? Irgendwas kämpfen wir jetzt? Also, wir wurden beim letzten Mal von so ein paar Black Wolves angegriffen, aber. Gegen wen oder was kämpfen wir? Ah, frag mich nicht, Leute, Mann. Gut, die gute alte Devise. Erst draufhauen, dann fragen. Und genauso machen wir das, liebe Leute. Erst, äh, wenn es tot ist, dann können wir uns überlegen, wieso wir das tot gemacht haben. Aber erstmal tot machen. Und äh, ich finde, genau das sollten wir jetzt auch machen. Ähm. Also, auf jeden Fall, liebe Leute, irgendwann werden wir natürlich äh, Mesh weitersuchen. Aber jetzt. Hä? Was? Was habe ich dir getan? Was habe ich dir getan? <lacht> Fay Horse Rapid. Das ist, weil ich dich immer die ganze Zeit Red Hair und ich Lubu nenne. Ah, hast du so ein Damage Card oder so? Aha, okay. Zum Glück ist mir das ehrlich gesagt ziemlich wurscht, liebe Leute, denn. Ihr wisst schon. Äh, Lost Belt Supremacy und wie auch immer, man. Lost Belt Queen. Sollte das nicht ganz so viel werden, oder? Big Buster, äh, theoretisch, Big Buster Quiz, theoretisch. Keine Ahnung, überlebt er das? Warum ist es, glaube ich, der Einzige, der überlebt? Black Ray, Mann, jetzt schauen wir mal wieder Black Ray, der Mensch. Das ist ein Happy Einser, ja, könnte ein bisschen Schaden machen. <lacht> der Schreib von Red, der war ja goldig, Mann. So, ah, mit Masa, denkst du, du überlebst es? Zack! Sag, weil ich nicht mal kurz war. Bye, bye mit Masa. War das jetzt einfach so das Morgentraining? So, ach, was könnte man da früh Schönes machen? Ach, tun wir uns einfach mal gegenseitig hier zusammen kloppen. Weil, why not? Hier gibt schlechtere äh, Tätigkeiten. Und wir wollen ja unser guter Castoria ein bisschen stärken. Also, ja, vielleicht nicht die schlechteste Idee. Das war supposed to be a light practice, aber about more Masa. Why are you taking it so seriously? Are you a child or something? No, I'm an old man. It's my job to make your youngsters uh, like you get a proper education at the school for of hard nuggets. That doesn't go for Maxi though. He seems like he's had more than enough uh, his share of hardship. Ja, hin und wieder mal. Ihr wisst doch. Hin und wieder mal, wenn der Wimbram so irgendwie, keine Ahnung, eine Bedrohung aus dem All kommt. Ihr kennt es ja alle. I got a Maxi. Those quick combat summons of yours are really something. Makes me think I'd be better off keeping it safe instead of mixing it myself. If you play your cards right, you might even be able to beat the Tamlin. You are no problem. You really think so? I bet. If you throw all the sevens and magic energies you've got him, you can definitely take him. You said one of them turns you before? Then next time it'll be your turn. Just make sure you've got a good victory line locked and loaded. Something like I ain't afraid of no Tamlin. Hmm. Your weapons are made of iron, right, Mormaza? Could you let me have some of the material? So but I'm the only one who can work with that. It's basically an advance. I'm paying for them with magic energy. If you want to use them for yourself, I have to make something from your from scratch. And that means uh, we'd have to get some iron from a mine. I think it was Norwich that controls the iron supply around here, right? I see. Then I guess I just have to track some down somewhere. And after I came up with a plan to defeat Gawain too. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing uh am I seeing a mean streak in those eyes, Gally? If you got something devious in mind, I'm game to help. Thank you. Yeah, uh, just uh, keep laughing. Wait up with Maxi and leave me alone. All timer. Oh. Looks like someone's uh, going through uh, their willis first. Or maybe she's just like that? I'm guessing she's just jealous of our resident grandpa paying attention to me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just uh, being the child of prophecy. If there's no getting around that, then I might as well start taking it seriously. 
not taking it seriously. Come on, we have always taken it seriously. No one here has ever thought otherwise. Oh, I see you're worried about what Oren said about you having to confront the time limb eventually. I mean, that's definitely part of it, but I just figured I can't just sit on the fence forever. The whole idea of making our pilgrimage about Britain and ringing the bell still doesn't quite feel real to me. But the fairies we've met so far, including the ones in Gloucester, all had such high hopes for me. And of course, my whole village of Tintagel uh, believed in uh, me enough to raise me and send me out on this pilgrimage in the first place. I'm still worried I might not be able to live up to everyone's expectations. But I thought, for the time being, I could at least try being proud of being the child of prophecy. Like they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I mean, I still don't have any specific ventures in mind, but... You know, Gally, for the life of me, I can't tell if you're full of spirit or shrinking violet. Yeah, you're right. Maxi? I've made up my mind, Altoria. I'm going to help you, no matter what Caldea has to say. B but what's, uh, what about Mesh? Scheiß of Mesh! <laughs> what? I thought we were only traveling uh, together until we found Mesh. Of course, we're still going to look for Mesh. I'm not stopping till I find her. I'm off the week. I just want to help the child of prophecy on top of that. Es muss immer danach geben. Good point, Maxi. We haven't made our position very clear, have we? Finding Mesh is definitely our top priority, but it doesn't mean we just can just leave Britain to fend for itself. So we want to keep traveling with you, not uh, just so we can find Mesh, but so that we can help Britain too. Now that we've made friends here, we want uh, to do everything we can to help them go back to our own home with no regrets. Let's that about sum it up, Maxi. So does, I just hope Director Gold is okay with it. Jetzt hört mir ihn gerade niesen. <lacht> Jemand lästert über mich, über meine Führungsqualitäten. Sonst könnte mir ihn. I'm sure God he would give in eventually, if he was here too. <lacht> nicht, er würde es befehlen, er wird irgendwann nachgeben. So, it's not just more Mars anymore. You're saying you and Davinci are going to join me on my pilgrimage too, Maxi? Yep, and I'm sure Warum would say the same thing. Don't worry, we expect to be generally compensated uh, once we've all saved the day. So, how does that sound, future king? Of course, if you'd rather not have us hanging around, we can always go separate ways. No, that's uh, not all. That's great. I never dreamed I would ever have this kind of help. I guess this is the chart of prophecy first proper lines. <laughs> now I'm kind of starting to feel like a king. Yay! Well, you really are a king, so... Because none of it changed the fact that we still don't have uh, any kind of plant. That's great. And you're feeling motivated about being the child of prophecies now, no. What do, do you actually do about it? <laughs> Way to bring me crashing back down to reality. Can't you let me be happy? Just for a little while, Muramasa? Ah, that's the entire problem right there. Well, as the resident old man here, I kinda have to be the party pro pooper, right? I hear the whole thing, and I think I have an idea. It's kind of Oberon then. It's Oberon! It's a little earlier than I planned, but uh, time is clearly right. I will tell you where the Child of Prophecy is, and you, her companions, need to go next. The crossroad of destiny, where the Child of Prophecy rumor shall uh, become reality. This is not Oberon. That's right. It's time for us to go save Norwich. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Is that really you, Oberon? Huh? What do you mean? You can't see me. Alright, of course. Down here, everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, flying long distance sure takes a lot out of you. But there's no substitute for seeing things for yourself. <laughs> Alright, you guys haven't seen me like this before, have you? I'm the stylish little speedster who races around Britain on a sphinx move at Mach speed. That's right, I'm right over on sometimes known as Robin Goodfellow and the pin sized fairy king. Uh, how do you get so small? <laughs> GV over on. Say a good one. Right over on. Oh, 
okay, Leute, wir haben so eine Klasse. <lacht> ja gut, aber man macht äh, natürlich alles ein bisschen klarer, wieso hier immer überall und nirgends ist. Oh Leute, so viele Bells, Leute. Pack die Bells aus ohne Ende. So, und oh, ich muss sagen, okay, diese Fragments sind zwar nett, aber ich würde mir persönlich eigentlich wünschen, dass wir mit Maxi weitermachen. Aber nun geht's wieder zu einem Fragment, äh, Kapitel 7 inzwischen schon, Sheffield Part 2. Das bedeutet also, wir sind wieder in Mesh-Geschichte. Heavy footsteps echo across the northern plains. The Queen's army is on the move. A military flag depicting uh, black flames and a mighty fortress flaps at the forefront of the army marching on Sheffield. Uh, an der Seite wahrscheinlich Barges. Tumbling away leads the army. Wir sagen eigentlich nur Barges. Ja, natürlich Tumbling away. Her objective is not as enough. Out the sparks of rebellion, not a negotiate with Bogart. Belgard, who was named the Queen's proxy only yesterday, flashes a wicked grin. This all occurred one day before Sheffield was wiped off the map. Was? Ey, wir haben hier gehört, dass es hier Krieg und so gibt. Ich meine, da habe ich gerechnet, aber was heißt, das wird einfach vom Anglitz der Erde ausgelöscht? Uh oh. Das hört sich übel an. Aber dort mach irgendwas da Schlaus! Aren't you going to rest up, Bogart? If there's something on your mind, I'd be happy to listen. Hm. You can't even pour me a glass of wine. You really are a poor excuse for a wife, aren't you? Well, that's alright. I can't appreciate alcohol anyway. In fact, I don't understand why humans cook their food at all. Cutting, slicing, roasting, frying, seasoning. It all seems like a waste of time and uh, good meat to me. The Fang Clan doesn't need to act more human, and it certainly doesn't need a restaurant. Did you know that Oxford is practically full of bursting with restaurants these days? <laughs> Everywhere you go, there's a wood was on every corner. It's a sick joke is what it is. Can you even imagine if all shops on Sheffield's Main Street were nothing but restaurants? It would be absurd, no one would even know how to react. Yes, that's true. It would be a funny sight. Yes, if nothing else, those westerns are good for our love. It would be fun to show you one. Never mind. I don't know why I said it. So, child of prophecy. I'm told you've been defeating Moors on behalf of the townspeople. Also. I also know you've been uh, seen fighting while wearing that armor of yours, even after I told you not to draw attention. Yes, I have. I'm sorry, La Bogart. I guess I'm just not uh, fit to be your wife. Of course you aren't. You fool. You never were. And yet, even though you're capable of battling moors, you're afraid to wield a weapon. You never came back for that iron cylinder. Those merchants told me they found you and the cylinder together, and yet you've never even mentioned it. It's almost as though you would prefer to forget about it entirely. That cylinder rivals Morgan's sacred lands. Why would you run from such an incredible firepower? I don't know. It's just something about that thing feels like it could hurt everyone. Like it could even hurt all of Britain. And that scares me. No, you're not afraid of that cylinder. You're afraid of fighting, it's set. Never mind. Even if I did uh, know your true feelings, I doubt I would understand them. All that matters are your records and accomplishments. Have you still not regained your memories? I don't know if it's your calling, but I have no doubt that you are a knight, one who has been fighting a lo long time. And yet, I've never seen you in the Queen's army before, never heard of the Tumblin being appointed. In fact, I've never seen a fairy that looks like you anywhere. Where did you come from? Are you? Are you actually the child of prophecy who will save all of Britain? If you are, then you will be forced to fight wherever you go. For the child of prophecy's pilgrimage leads down a road of blood and war. Do you truly have what it takes? Can you not only defeat the queen, but also unify the six clans and maintain your rule over them? I... I don't. <laughs> of course you can't. You simply aren't made for that, even if you were to rein, regain your memories. Fairies are meant to live their lives how they like, in accordance with their purpose. 
Why would your forces have to go through with something you don't desire? No. It's like a thought. Not a uh, thought. Uh, new. You aren't a child of prophecy. You're no but an imitation. A lost little lamp. A lost little lamp was the hier durch gerne durch die Gegend schleudert, okay? Vergiss das nicht. I've been fighting for a long time. I've been fighting the moss since I was born. Fighting the moss has always always fallen a Franklin. It's only made sense. Um uh, the Franklin. It only made sense. We are the strongest clan in Britain. And what was? And I were the strongest of all Franklin. The two of us alone have saved Britain from the countless moors. It was those accomplishments that led what was being named Lord of Oxford and I Norwich. Yes, I remember. You told me before that you were once the Lord of Norwich. But you never told me how you ended up in Sheffield. A man named Capeless put on over me. He's taking over sp uh, the spring name now. But never mind that scumbag. It's nothing you need to hear about. You know about Kate Pillar War uh, of 200 years ago? Yes. It was only a war made to scream like a flesh-blooded woman. I never would have suggested that uh, you were uh, that uh, that accursed morgan would be so afraid of insects at any rate during the war morgan gave the name gawain made her a knight no one can perceive uh, his name anymore the queen changed it to gawain became a true name no war now no one can call her by her original fairy name until she is defeated what was hated uh, and claimed she was the daughter of the detestable black dogs, but I always admired her sheer strength. In fact, and part of the reason she became a Tamlin, one day I told her, If you don't want to be called a dog, you need only stop fighting with Tooth and Claw. Hair to the precious blood from here on, you will fight with the greatest sword, your horn. Ever since she began carrying a sword with her, wherever she went, until one day, her powers as a knight caught the queen's eye. She then uh, became a Tamlin and began shielding fairies from the moors of her own relation. I suspect that it was because she had long been ostracized as a daughter of the black dogs. That allowed her to understand how the weak feel and made her demand responsibility from the strong. I believe the queen calls that nobles or bleach. Hm. It seems there is no limit to reach there of human civilization influence. You know, you remind me of hmm, back when she had just been born. Back then she agonized over having been born strong and hated that she would now have to continuously exploit the weak. There is something about you that reminds me of her in this graceful crying. I see. So you still care deeply for this Gawain's person? Hardly. I stopped thinking about her 200 years ago when she became a Tamlin. What am I saying? Why am I sitting here telling you about my youth instead of my daring exploits? This was a waste of time. Forget tonight ever happened. Erase it from your memory. I'm going back to the tribunal. Okay, take care Lord Bogart. And please, try not to stay up too late. That reminds me, why aren't you afraid of me? Dad, I think it's because Sheffield is such a beautiful city. And I'm told you were the one who restored it from almost nothing. Even though it's a fortress city, it puts the life out of the fairies who live in the first, making it a bright and colorful place to live. I don't think I could ever be afraid of anyone who set out to build a city like that. Well, of course, Sheffield is much more beautiful than Norwich ever was. But uh, it, it ends today. We'll be closing our gates as of tomorrow. Once the fight with Morgan's army begins, no one will call the city beautiful any longer. What was that, Lord Bogart? 
That's the alarm bell from the sentry, sentry tower. But why now? They can't possibly be here, here already. What's going on? What's the situation? Don't tell me the Queen's army crossed the eastern mountains atop. They are Odwena in only two days. They have, sir. The Queen's army is drawing steadily closer to the main gate. We also received a message from them not too long ago. Would you like to read it? No, just re you read it. Just summarize it for me. What did Monk say? Well, uh, that is, uh... Well, what are you waiting for? Tell me. Yes, sir. It says, hand over the child of prophecy. And I will grant Sheffield its freedom. The child of prophecy? Does it mean Lady Mesh? But why? What about Norwich? Does it say anything about giving Norwich back to us? No, wait. What does she mean? Grant uh, us a freedom. Does that mean she doesn't care if Lord Bogan continues to grow his army? <laughs> Is that what you think, Morgan? You think our rebellion pulls no threat to you? How much must you humiliate the fan clan before you will be satisfied? Excuse me, sir. I have an urgent message. The sentry just confirmed that Gawain's flag is at the head of the Queen's army. Tumbling Gawain is uh, leading the advance. Oh, is she now? Very tricky, Queen. She talks big, but she shows her, uh, as a, sees us as a threat just by sending who she did. The very fact that she would send her right hand woman to deal with us is proof she fears our army. She knows she can possibly uh, take down Sheffield while Nokariba sending our troops up north. So she chose to negate and uh, rather than to try to put us down, which means the army out there is only for show. No wonder they got here so quick. They can't possibly be armed for battle. Uh, I glaub, du überschätzt dich. So which will it be? Will she give Norwich back to us or send? Enough troops to dispel the calamity pool. I look forward to hearing which answer you choose, O oh Queen of Britain. Um, Lord Boggart, it isn't just Gawain's flag. Tristan and Lancelot's flags have been spotted as well. All three of the Tumlin are headed this way. The most powerful forces in the fairy Britain are all bearing down on us as we speak. What? All three of them? Okay, Leute, wir kannten ja schon Tristan, die ja hier sadistisch alles auslöst. Gawain, die wie gesagt hier ein gefügiges Hündlein ist. Ja, jetzt die Musik ist gerade um einiges angespannter geworden. Doch das Furchtbarste wird hier Fairy Knight Lancelot sein. Das Monstrum, was als stärkste der Tamling gilt und hier die eine oder Stand andere Stadt schon in Asche gelegt hat. Holy moly. Borgard, ich glaube, du hast dich ja ein bisschen übernommen. Our troops are positioned, Lady Gawain. What would you have us to do? Remain on standby until the messenger we sent to Borgard returns. Tell Tristan's forces to do the same. What is Lancelot doing? Lady Lancelot is standing by in the air. She says she'll drop into the castle once the fighting begins. The Queen's orders were to clean Sheffield fully, in addition to Borgard's army. A run in the castle, military or otherwise, will be considered targets for Lady Lancelot. Fine. We don't need them. Lined up anyway. Tell Lancelot to drop on the back gate when when it, uh, the time comes. If they try to let the child of prophecy escape, that's where they'll do it. See, fliegt! Oh my god. Bogart, if you open your gates to us now, this can uh, and call and without bloodshed. Don't make me use uh, my horn on you. Look at your forces and look at ours. You're a rational fairy. You must see that resistance would be... Na na. Incoming message, my lady. Na na, I can't be some lesson. The message said uh, we sent to Sheffield just returned with Bogart's reply. It says, there's no child of prophecy in my castle. All you will find here is contempt for the queen. This castle and I are one. If I should return to the earth, its purpose will also come to an end. That's all he wrote. That fool. Squads 1 and 2 rear your siege gear. Sheffield's rampart will be difficult to break through. They may even be more formidable than my full weather. 
Be prepared for casualties as high as 20%. Yes, my lady. Yeah, we are prepared to accept any fate in the name of the Queen. Damn you, Bogart. Your reach exceeds your grasps. Did you really think Her Majesty would give Sheffield special treatment simply because it keeps Nokariba in check? You were a fool to underestimate us. We don't need to ambush Nokariba to keep Kamelot safe from her. No truly capable leader in your position would have made such a grievous error in judgment. Your time is over. You old fool. All that remains now is for me to put you out of this misery. Assemble the troops. Prepare to halt the castle. Send her to Nokariba. Tell her we can halt out on our own for two days and uh, to send back up before then. At Bogart's command, Sheffield began its true battle. Many high-ranking fairies said no one told them all three Tamlin would be there and uh, that they should just give up the child of prophecy. But Bogart quickly put an end to their descent. It wasn't clear whether he did it because he didn't want the child of prophecy to protect him or because he wanted to save her as a last resort. Whatever his reason were, his decision was correct. If they had given up the child of prophecy, when the genauso ausgelöscht one, every fairy in Sheffield would have been cruelly slaughtered that much sooner. Warte, 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 warte. That much sooner? Äh, uh, top! Heißt es, sie werden so oder so abgeschlachtet? Report from the Sentry Tower! The enemy siege uh, weapons are burning the ramparts. The force are already burned uh, through the one layer of the tree bark. The half clan fairies are using uh, oak trees to reinforce the walls. But at this rate, they won't uh, last the night. They need immediate backup. The saws are stationed atop of the ramparts after a hands full uh, fending off the invaders scaling the walls. We have numbered them now, but they are better trained than we are. It's only a matter of time until they unnumber us as well. So far, the fighting has yet to reach the town, thanks to our sort of valiant efforts, but... Lancelot. What was that? The Gavain just break in on her own? Lancelot is attacking from above. She's destroying the barracks. It's no use. She's too fast for even the wind clan ferries to track. There's no way we can shoot her down. Get her down to the ground, even if you have to destroy one of the barracks. Lancelot is like a bee. Our speed and our power. As long as we can ground her, I can easily... Now what is it? Did they just fire a cannon at us? No, sir! It's Gawain! She's using her galantine on the main gate. She's already burned through uh, the gates. Uh, barked down to the tenth layer. We'll never be able to regrow it in time if she keeps hammering on it. Damn. That girl, what about the castle grounds? All the sort of information. No, sir. The citizens are so panicked, they keep getting in the way. Some fairies are even starting to ride, demanding that we let them out from the rear gate. Whatever you do, do not open the rear gate. If even one fairy makes it out, the whole thing will collapse. Never mind the throne room, Captain. Get down there and suppress these riots. Yes, sir. Let's go. Get it. No one biene. <laughs> and a fat biene. There's too much chaos at both the ramparts and the castle. We can't fight everywhere at once. Please, Lord Bogart, tell us what we should do. You're the one who said we could fight off the Queen's army here. Or are you going to send out the child of Pop? I know, I know, damn it. We just need to put one of those fires, yes. Well, we've got a Magecraft cannon on our own. Let's see what kind of power the child of prophecy truly has. The black barrel, oder? Enraged, Bogart ran to the iron cylinder mounted on the castle's keep as fast as his legs could carry him. He didn't think that alone would actually change the battle course. At best, he hoped that it might provide an opportunity to turn the tide. Little did he know that fateful pull of the trigger would be the beginning of Sheffield's end. The attack that would transform the battle from a siege into a scene of pure annihilation. Bye.
Ey Leute, Mann, dieser blöde Ansage, der geht mir langsam richtig auf den Säckel. Es war, war nur der Beginn von noch etwas viel, viel schlimmer. Das wurde dann noch viel, viel schlimmer. Die Musik macht mich, die macht mir richtig Sorgen, Mann. Also, ich denke, Sheffield, das war's von She äh, Sheffield. Doch die Frage ist, was wird das Smash? Und Habitat. Liebe Leute, wir werden das beim nächsten Mal finden. Bis dahin, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ciao.